Hello everybody, I'm the here for the Hero Game Channel, welcome back to another video. I'm back to the New Order, the last days of Europe. It has been quite a while since we last played this, I think we last played as Scotland. Well today, we're going to be playing as someone who I've not played as yet on this mod, and that is going to be Sablin. Out here in Baratia. Let's hop into it. We are going to be straight up in a war, war with them. Um, Er, Kusk, with what's his face leading them, but we'll, we'll, we'll defeat them. Ah yes, Yagoda, it is time for this tyrant to be brought down from his ivory tower and put down once and for all. Tada! We've caught their divisions. Three of them anyways, they do have between three and five, I reckon they have four. There are other divisions down here in the south. I could probably leave that division down well, I could actually probably maybe pull that division up here to help with this, but ah, he can stay there for the time being. And we won! And we've got the Arkusk Hydroelectric Station. Yes, Sablin has sat down with the Central Committee. It is now time for us to put an end to the tyrants and push forward for our own path to glory now. So congratulations are in order for uh, Sablin. He's just uh, been married. Um, literally, this is his wedding night. He's having struggles sleeping. And he's, um, he's a little bit worried about what he's doing. He's sending men to die bloody and horrible deaths. And he's he's having doubts. However, his friend, Pichuro, has told her that everybody believes in him. And that he will uh, lead them to victory, basically. And um, Sablin's... Very happy for um, his friend's uh, advice. So we're now going to enact the two-year draft. So the NKVD had been doing some pretty bad stuff um, thanks to Yagoda's um, rule. So a lot of them have just been tried and found guilty. Um, the question remains though, can they be forgiven um, or should they be dissolved? Chance of redemption does give us reintegrating the NKVD, which brings them more support for 180 days, but it does build up our uh, army professionalism. So I think um, they can still serve the revolution. They may still be of use to us. If we can rehabilitate them, and Sablin sure will be able to, then they may be useful. May be very useful for us. So the trial of Yagoda has taken place, and he has been found guilty. And he did kind of have people in the first half by saying yes I am sorry um, but went on to say he was sorry that when he had the chance that he did not shoot them all to all the people present at his trial um, so he's basically been given uh, five years in a prison farm which Sablin felt was insufficient so we do have a choice we have the people's judgment which I guess we get if we do hold on um, or given to our urge and I guess kill him Oh yep, we will shoot him, which that empowers the Bacaranist wing of the party. I want to keep Sablin around, so I'm going to hold on. Okay, so Comrade Sablin's got his own interpretation of Leninism. Um, as a more humane option than Bacaran's reforms. Oh, okay. Time for the second economic stage. We'll get to the army reforms next. All hands on deck. And basically, it's going to be women are getting equal rights here. So... They're proposing the idea in the Central Committee, Sablin booms out comrades and basically says that Lenin had stated that women were just as important as men in achieving triumph for the revolution. So, after giving that little speech, the General Committee, uh, Central Committee sorry, uh, voted unanimously to allow women full equality in the service to the revolution. Okay, we're, um, we're going to get a non-aggression pact with the Partisan Republic of Aldan who's here and if we look down oh more wars are breaking out over in the east where we are um give them military access as well but we hopefully will be able to integrate them which would be very very beneficial for us they do only have one division but it's more core territories for us ah i'd always wondered how you switch to play as a divine mandate of siberia but uh, you have to start always playing as someone else down here and then you can switch to them but we must prepare for this new threat yes alexander men it is time for us to dethrone the Tsar, who's already at war with magadan which is perfect um we'll deal with them next what we'll do is we'll get our really pathetic sized air force into the air 
and my divisions are not covering the whole front, I'm mainly just going for the capital and I'll work my way along. Who cares for this territory? Um, yeah, uh, that, that was it. I literally took Cheetah and the war ended. Um, Shat the Crown. I guess we will end the schemes. Yeah, I think we'll literally just do that and try and cut off some of the divisions. I don't think they've got many. From the looks of it, they only have four or five, so... This should hopefully go relatively well for us. I maybe shouldn't have been as eager to start this war. Uh, <laughs> we're not really in a uh, position for this. Um, um, I'm going to have pity on him. He's crying like a little uh, little girl. And he just wants to go back to Australia. So yeah, you can you can disappear. Let's go then. Let's dance, boy. You and your terrible divisions here. Yeah, yeah, we got gotcha. you. Glad I have enough manpower to actually create these three divisions because they're doing the uh, Lord's work. Actually, um, keeping us alive right now with these bloody peasants uprising. At least we have... Well, I've realised that there was actually a gap here where this division was to actually push the capital, so we are doing that now. Uh, they managed to secure Cheetah before I took their capital over in... over here, but we have managed to basically push them out of the majority of their core territory. I am moving additional divisions down here to crush these fools. This should be game, set, and match. We're going to be taking the last capital, I think, and the last victory point we really need to end this. Yep, we're done. This should be relatively straightforward. It is time for us to form the Far Eastern Free Soviet Republics. Boom. Baratia unifies as the Russian Far East. Completely out of nowhere. But the Americans are just like, yeah, here's a factory. Well, I have to say, thank you very much. Americans are actually being really friendly to us. President McCormack, I, I, I'm getting mixed signals from you here. Why are you helping me so much? Interesting name for a, a focus. Protect proletarian democracy. Um, why are we having a shift to Bukharanism? Excuse me, everybody. Sablin is our one true leader. Okay, so um, the Americans have came. They've wanted to have a private kind of meeting with the Central Committee, which we've agreed to. Uh, a man calling himself John Doe has kicked off the thing. Obviously not his real name. Um, a representative of Disney's here. And what they want to do is they want to hold a exhibit in America regarding our culture. And they're wanting us to hold one in Magadan about their culture. Now, a Sablonite is concerned that this will fill the minds of their children with lies. Um, however, it's going to give us an increase to our economic output. So, yes, we're, we're, we're doing it. We are doing this exhibition. So, the American National ex Exhibition has taken place in Magadan. Um, Sablin's walked down. He, he enjoys it. He finds it interesting. There's some things he doesn't like. It's like walking the, into the palace of a rich businessman, obviously. We don't really love the capitalists and everything, and he, yeah, overall he finds it interesting, and he starts discussing how they're going to get better at tractors, medical equipment, and oil drills from the Americans, and then one of the Americans asks uh, Mr. Sablin if he's ever heard of Pepsi. Um, he has one. He's a little bit suspicious at the start, but um, it's delicious. Do you have any more? So Sablin. He's a Pepsi man. Sorry, Coke. Pepsi bet you to it. So, Susanna Pachuro is, um, is an American in Disneyland. Um, she, she, she doesn't like it. She thinks it's uh, disgusting. Um, parading our nation like some commodity to be sold to the highest bidder. And she's wondering if it's a violation of Lenin's ideals. However, um, she hears a voice. Um, mommy, mommy, from a little girl. Uh, basically a little girl's asking her mum if she's a soldier and um, her mum responds yes sweetie are they not fascinating so Susanna sighs and realises that maybe some good will come out of this and indeed there shall be some good we're getting some economic ties we're going to be sending messages off to all of the OFN and we'll see what comes back from doing that um, we'll also go ahead and uh, we'll uh, We'll give the Americans a call. Okay, Goring's actually doing pretty well in his little uh, war path. Um, 
The concerning thing with Goring's tree is the AI's probably crap in their pants and just looking, oh look at all these focuses, let's do random ones, let's get all the research on, I don't know, planes. See, this is why we try and approach the Americans. They have accepted our request for a non-aggression pact. We have poor access, with docking rights rather, for the Americans. Um, and they found a suitable building in uh, Washington DC to serve as their embassy. I've just noticed a very interesting outcome in the Madagascan Civil War. So we have a National Socialism Madagascar, and then we have American Puppet Madagascar. Don't know how that happened. And also Zanu Zimbabwe is here, Robert Mugabe. And then he has a tiny little bit of land here. I, I, I don't quite understand what happened in that. Sadly, there goes our uh, chance at peace. Well, saying that, not completely. If Lazar wins, we might be able to unify peacefully. I was thinking, like, why hasn't Omsk done anything? Yeah, they've, they're a collapsed authority. They're, they're, they're nothing now. Ah, uh, the russo finnish ceasefire has been signed. Finland has managed to keep a hold of our territory. Unbelievable. You can book it off inviting American experts yourself. I've already approached them. Oh no, the African devastation. Ah, oh. Savimbi. Come on, Scotland, you can do this. 15 to 41 divisions. Oh, just hold your ground. Hold your ground. Oh, it is time, by the looks of things. Time to prepare for war. Okay, well, we're at war, and... Uh, how are we losing in there already? They are pushing us back, but uh, do you know what's funny? Yeah, 134k lost already. Guess what? Zero feckin' manpower? Oh! Oh no! What terrible ass shame! Oh no! Why? Why have you done this? Oh! Why has this happened? Germany at war with the Italians? Ah yes, the encirclements are beginning. Ah, you were too late, haha. <laughs> I think at this point, with our army being the pathetic size it is, I'm going to just drive to Kemerovo. We're just tanking to the capitals. Ah, you gotta love it. They've only got 8 to 12 divisions left, so... We can afford to just yeet ourselves into these places. Um, Mr. Tank, to the new capital, please. Surely they must be almost dead. They are. Ah, in fact, they are dead. Happy days. Right, note to self, Dune. For taking on the last war, we need to have 40 combat with divisions. Ah, uh, it is time to not be just the Far Eastern Soviet Republic. We're going to be the Siberian Socialist Republic. Oh, we are beautiful. And it's now the last dinky little tree. Sorry, Kazakhstan. It's just... You're kind of in my way, mate. Look at the casualties. It's just not fair. Kazakhstan is no more, and yes. Oh my god, so much land. Nom 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 nom. Ah, the final war. It's the only time I've actually fought against someone that hasn't unified. Like, why haven't they? But hey ho, this is the world we find ourselves in. And, oh my days, it's going to be a bloodbath. Um, I think I've just cut off their entire army. This has to be the messiest front I've ever made. Like, it's, it's, it's got to be up there. <laughs> oh, they're dead. Oh, we're, we're actually done. We're done. Oh my days, so many states to... Goodbye, stability. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, um, I guess there's... I guess we could go ahead and do this. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. A new Russian revolution for the first time in almost 30 years of Red Star Rises of the North. General Secretary Sablin has declared officially to the world that the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics is officially reborn. Russian anarchy once thought of as a new status quo was ended of a series of bloody wars and hard-fought diplomatic agreements that of some diplomatic agreements there was none. Sablin's clique began as rebellion against interim Premier Yagoda. The new government's promises of stability and peace has won at the popular support. A dark horse in the race for unification, Sablin's ideological beliefs seem almost unsalted to Russian anarchy. Perhaps in a libertarian form of Leninism, the people of Russia far greater enjoy far greater political freedoms than before. The Soviet bear has awoken and rolled away impatiently for it to roar. Well done, Sablin. Victory is ours, and Italy and Germany are still at war with each other. So if we were to go to war with Germany, now would be the time. But um, 
yep, I'm going to leave that there, guys. So, oh, Sablin, you're looking, f looking fantastic in that portrait, mate. We shall leave it there. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I shall be back very soon for something else. Until then, do take care. Sure, bye. Then now.